with you, we on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in this video, we're gonna be rocking an insanely powerful deck. It is the Bandit Three Musketeer combination featuring the Night Witch and the Knight, of course. This deck is very strong. Shout out to the number one player in my clan currently. Name is Lewis. He was running this deck and I've been seeing it so much in the grand challenges, but I haven't actually laid my finger on it. And then I saw it on his profile in the game after one of my clan mates mentioned it to me and he told me to run this deck. So now I am here trying this deck out and let's see if the Three Musketeers is as powerful as it comes. 85% win percentage on Stats Royale, so it must be really good. Knight's going down here in the first battle up against Slow Crimson. He's going to start with that RG. Okay, I wasn't expecting the RG, so we're going to play our three Musketeers now here in the center. That should be able to take out the RG pretty easily, to be honest. He's going to send in a Lightning. Luckily for us, that Knight tanked one of the Lightning Strikes, and now we have two healthy Musketeers going down each lane. So he's going to have to pick which lane to respond to. He's going to go with a Skarmie in the middle. We're going to zap and give our left musketeer some time to take out that left tower. The right musketeer is also going to fire a shot off on that tower, so pretty decent start. Of course, he has the damage lead. He has an RG. That's always going to do some pretty solid damage to our towers, but let's go ahead and get an elixir collector down so that we can start coming back here in this battle. And let's see here. I'm expecting an RG to come back at us once again. Of course, he did use a lightning, so he is behind an elixir. Now we have to deal with an executioner, so that's going to be pretty solid here. Let's go with our knight on the right side, and once the executioner targets onto our knight, we will play the three musketeers in the center. There comes the RG, so three musketeers going down. Knight is onto the executioner and onto the RG. Let's see if he plays another lightning. We have enough elixir to go for a bandit push now here on the left side. So the bandit's gonna go in hot, hit that tower super hard. Ice Spirit's gonna jump on the tower, and just like that, we are gonna finesse the first tower of the battle, and now we have two healthy musketeers there on the right side so that musketeer is going to get off some decent damage that log is going to slow her down just a little bit but she will still pop off two shots into that tower so we are looking really really good here in this battle another elixir collector going down and now we got to get ready for double elixir time as you guys already know when you are playing a three musketeer deck as soon as you take that first tower they are in huge trouble because you can always plant the three musketeers really close to the king tower or really into the center to take that second tower. We're going to go all three musketeers down the same lane. Notice how I played the bandit there to help tank some of the shots from the lightning. And now we have two healthy musketeers in the house. That's going to absolutely shred his push. Let's play the knight in the center to help tank from the king and crown tower. And these two musketeers should be able to go to work here. Tornado is not going to do too much. That's still going to be the second tower. And now we have another set of musketeers going down here. That should be the game. That Skarmie is not going to be able to take them out fast enough. And just like that, we reel in the first three crown of the day. So this deck is actually really powerful. Let's hop right into a second battle to keep on showcasing the strength of this deck. No surprise that it has 85%. Win percentage. The hardest thing with the Musketeers is that they sit back and they're always from the range distance. So no matter what you play, you have to sort of wait for them to come up onto your side of the bridge before you can take them out if you don't have a fireball and zap. And even though lightning counters them, in my opinion, I think it's more of a waste because you play the lightning for six elixir and unless you kill all three of them, it's an even trade technically, but then you have like such an elixir deficit. And I definitely think the fireball and zap is the best way to take it out or fireball and log. So focusing in here on this second battle up against CR 1903 from the agent squad. Let's go ahead and get our three musketeers ready here. Split them in the center and now we have this push going down there. Elixir Collector should be able to pump out enough elixir to get us this bandit here. So our bandit's going down now on the left side. He's got a wizard. Those musketeers are going to take out the wizard. Look at the bandit dash into that tower. And just like that, the ice spirit's going to slow the tower down. Are we going to take the first tower of the battle that quickly? Musketeer's going to fire that last shot and take the tower before she goes down. So just like that, we already secure the first tower of the battle. We are looking really, really good here. Now we have to deal with a hog minor push. This might be tower. That push is very strong. I just played my elixir collector as well. So we don't really have anything to defend here. That should be the first tower. Our knight did its best there. At least it kept the hog rider off of our elixir collector. So now let's cheese in the middle with the three musketeers. All three musketeers targeted onto that tower. He's going to play his executioner. That's not going to come in hot enough for him. So just like that, we've got his right tower down to 70 HP. Really good stuff from us. 
And now we just have to defend our left tower, secure the second crown, and see what happens from there on. We're going to go with a Night Witch on the left side, just to keep his execution from getting any extra value. Let's play our Ice Spirit to cycle back to our Collector and get this Elixir Collector down. I don't want to play them too close together, obviously, so they don't get Fireball or, or Lightning. And now he's got an Ice Whiz coming on the left side. Unfortunately, that, e that Executioner is going to get some shots off onto our Elixir Collector. And now we have to deal with a minor double wizard push. Won't be the hardest thing to deal with. We're going to play our three musketeers here in the center. I still haven't seen a spell from him to take this out. Unfortunately for him, he played the hog right into the three musketeers. So that hog is going to get nowhere near our tower. And now we've got this insane push going on the right side with the bandit, with the night witch. And he has to deal with all this on the left. Very good tornado from him. That's going to shred all of our musketeers. But as you can see there, the bandit was able to get a charge off under the tower. The night witch is working that ice whiz. And we're going to play all three Musketeers runs again right in the center, right into his log though. But just like that, that's going to be another three crown victory. So this deck is really good at getting three crowns. Very overpowering if you can get two pumps down and get it into double elixir time while keeping the lead. So we are now sitting at six and two. Let's hop into one more battle and continue using this deck. I am no pro by all means at using the three Musketeers, but I am finding it so easy right now to secure Ws. Even into this part of the grand challenges, no one's really able to compete with this deck, so it's no surprise that it is very strong. You can probably play this on the ladder, but obviously you have to make sure that your cards are up to even level, otherwise you will get shredded by those fireballs. And fireballs taking out your musketeers in one hit is never something you want to see. So focusing in here on this final battle up against Meraki, he has a bowler, so that's going to be pretty difficult to deal with, and a fireball. I'm assuming he's got zap or log as well. And he has the Inferno Tower, so very, very defensive deck we're going up against here. I don't think we're going to be able to make much happen, honestly, early on in the game. That Bowler is going to be quite an issue to deal with as well. He's got the Goblin Gang, so very solid deck here. Let's try and get to our Elixir Collector and then move on from there. So we're going to go ahead and cycle our Ice Spirit here. Once we're almost at 10 Elixir, play our Elixir Collector and see how he decides to respond here. He's not going to play anything so far. He's got a Goblin Barrel. We're going to go for a Log. So Hog, Goblin Barrel, and Inferno Tower. So he's playing that really defensive Hog Zap Bait deck. Very, very good deck. So we're going to have some problems here. We're just going to have to make sure we keep that Hog off our tower. Always have our Log prepared for that Hog Rider. And everything will be just fine. Healthy Knight going down the right lane there. He's going to play his Bowler. Very good Bowler placement. Obviously, that's going to keep the Knight off the tower. The Knight will get a swing off, two swings off, so good stuff there from the Knight. We are back to our Elixir Collector. Oh, I was going to play Muskies there, but no need since he's playing that Inferno Tower. We're going to go ahead and play our Elixir Collector to even it out since he did just use 5 Elixir. He's sending in his gang. Let's go ahead and zap this. Play our Knight and log the barrel since he's throwing the barrel all the way at our Elixir Collector. We got to keep him off that. That's the only way we're going to win this game here with this super strong deck. We're going to need that Elixir as much as possible. And the thing with this deck is when you have so much elixir flowing, you have the ability to play the bandit, night witch, knight all on the same side. Or you can split them, you can push three musketeers, and it is just really good. So now we are in double elixir time. Let's focus in here on this battle. That bowler is going down there on the left side. So we're obviously going to send two musketeers to the right when we do split them up. Just because we don't want to give the bowler any extra value. Or so I say, and I play all three of them to the left on accident. My finger slipped there. He's going to fireball all of that. Does he have a zap though? That's the main question. If he's not going to zap all that, that's not bad at all. Those Musketeers will still play some solid defense. Bandit's going to get a charge off onto that right tower. Lone Musketeer at 1 HP is going to get 2 shots off. And that's going to drop his right tower down to 1048. So we are looking really good. I've got my log here for that barrel. Like I said, we are not going to let that do any damage. 3 Musketeers going down in the center to stop that hog rider in its tracks without it even getting a swing off and now peep the right side we've got the knight the bandit the night witch the musketeer going towards this tower he's mad we're gonna pre-log and that should be game no way he stops that push bowler's gonna fall in a second and just like that we shred the third tower three and oh on the day with this deck super strong three musketeer deck it's always been really strong if you don't have the night witch or if you don't have the bandit I would recommend using the OG3 Musketeer deck, which just uses either the Knight, you can switch in the Ice Golem for the Bandit, or you can switch in the Minion Horde for the, uh, the, uh, the Night Witch, which is a lot of people do, because the Minion Horde is so hard to deal with. People fireball the Minion Horde as well. They fireball the three Musketeers, so they have to pick one or the other. 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!